Come on into the library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Shelley and Jackson Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come on, be a story Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and a magical maestro at your service. Hello, Milton. Hello, Milton. <laughs> Greetings, story makers. <laughs> oh. 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 What was that? Anything. Mm, no, neither can I. Mm. Allow me to investigate. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh. What is it? Oh, definitely a bad case of the squeaks. Oh, oh dear. <gasps> Milton, it's you. Milton? Okay, I admit it. <laughs> you caught me out, you clever little jelly. Mm. The one with the squeak is me. Oh, me done. Oh, it's just my little joke. However, let me recompense you, dear Jackson, with a little magic from up my sleeve. Woo! Oh, a present! Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Jelly, it's gone in the story machine. Sorry, Jackson. Oh. Sorry. After a fright like that, a story is what I need. Mm. This is where we need your help. Mm. Hands up. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. Yes, and it's called Lost in the Supermarket. Cameron and his dad were on a very special shopping trip. They were buying the ingredients to make a birthday cake for Cameron's little brother. The supermarket was very big. Cameron spotted some flowers. Those would be nice for Mummy, he said. So Dad put them into the trolley. Now what do we need to make a cake? Some eggs. some sugar then off to another aisle for some butter and once again pop it into the trolley and of course a birthday card every birthday cake needs decorations especially candles dad also needed lots of other shopping Cameron started to get bored until he spotted some very interesting toys. Dad hadn't noticed that he had left Cameron behind. And Cameron was too busy to notice. This shopping trip is good fun, but I really must find Dad, thought Cameron. Dad was beginning to wonder where Cameron had got to. Is he down there? Cameron ran up and down the aisles. He couldn't see Dad anywhere. He began to feel unhappy and alone. He was lost. But just then a man with a uniform came up to him and asked him if he was all right. I'm lost, said Cameron. Can you help me find my dad? The security guard took Cameron to meet a nice lady who said that she could help him find his dad. He hoped she could. The lady said she would make an announcement. All of a sudden, her voice could be heard all over the shop. We have a little lost boy by the name of Cameron from the Pattern of Guardian. Please make your way to customer services to wait behind to check out. And there was Dad. He was so happy to see Cameron, he gave him a big hug. 
He told Cameron that he should never go off on his own. I won't, thought Cameron. Oh, I'm glad Cameron found his dad. <laughs> yes, and look what I found. <gasps> My magic present. <laughs> Open it, Milton. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, oh, what is it? <laughs> it's for cleaning tea. Uh, where's my present? And here are... the tea. <laughs> Monster tea. <laughs> and I'm coming to clean them. <laughs> you can't catch me. Imagination time. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! It's a blue cow story, and it's called Blue Cow Goes to the Dentist. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow got a daisy stuck between her teeth. I wonder what it would be like to visit a dentist. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to visit a dentist, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the dentists. <laughs> and then they arrived. In front of her was a bright red door with a sign on it that said Dentist. She opened the door and went inside. Can I help you? said a lady whose white teeth matched her white coat. I'd like to see the dentist, please, said Blue Cow. Please take a seat and wait for Miss Mola to call you. While Blue Cow waited, she looked at the pictures on the wall. Most of them showed smiley people with shiny white teeth. Oh, this is a very friendly sort of place, she thought. Blue Cow, please, called a voice. Oh, that's me, thought Blue Cow, and she entered Miss Mola's room. Hello, very nice to see you, said Miss Mola with a friendly smile. Please lie back on my special chair. Blue Cow wasn't sure if she liked the chair at first, but Miss Mola showed her how it went up and down. Oh, this is fun! Now, smiled Miss Mola, I would like you to open your mouth wide and say, Ah! Oh, I can say moo, mooed Blue Cow. Fine, smiled Miss Mola. Moo will do. While Blue Cow mooed, Miss Mola looked at her teeth. Oh, very shiny, outstanding, perfect. I've never seen anything like it, she muttered. Ah, a daisy. There we go. Good as new. Miss Mola pulled out the daisy so gently that Blue Cow didn't feel a thing. I must say, Miss Cow, said the dentist, you have a really lovely set of teeth. Tell me what you eat. Grass, said Blue Cow. And do you eat any sticky snacks? No, only grass. Well, I'd like to take your photograph to put on our wall, said Miss Mola. Teeth like yours should be admired by everybody. Oh, please do, said Blue Cow. And the photograph was taken in a flash. Then Miss Mola handed Blue Cow a lovely blue toothbrush. Here, this should get rid of the daisies. Thank you, said Blue Cow. And don't forget to brush in the morning and again before bed. I will, said Blue Cow. The children did lots of beautiful magic paintings today. Look at all these. <laughs> and I thought I'd have a go. I just need one candle. <laughs> Can you see what it is yet? <laughs> of course not. Now, here comes the magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, whose eyes are those? <laughs> I must go and show Milton. Here, Milton. Oh, what's this? My magic. Oh, 
Very magical and very mysterious. Mm. Perhaps our magical machine will reveal to whom the glittering eyes belong. To whom? Yes, whom? Ooh, right. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. <gasps> it's a poon story. It's called Glug Under the Machine. Here's the kitchen. It's early in the morning. Who lives here? A pan scourer. That scrub. There's geranium. And pop the toaster. Piece of toast. Wake up, Glug. <laughs> and six wooden spoons. Mr. Spoon and Mrs. Spoon. Thin Sally and Spatula Sam. Auntie Porridge Spurtle. Oh, hello there. And of course, Poon. The Poons live here. Today is a very busy day in the kitchen. Thin Sally is stirring the baked beans in a pot. Spatula Sam is turning the bacon in the frying pan. And Mr. Spoon is busy with the eggs and mushrooms. You'll never guess what Auntie's making. There's nothing like porridge to start the day. Pop is so busy he's already done loads of toast. Good morning, Peter Toast. And Poon is very busy beating eggs for scrambled eggs on toast. I am enjoying this. It's brilliant. Just think of all the pans you'll have to scour out, Scrub. Especially the porridge pot. Uh, uh, uh. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Poon, don't be so energetic with those eggs. You'll tip the bowl Whoops. over. Oh, what a mess. Oh, scrub, scrub. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset the bowl. Oh, Poon, what have you done? What's happened? Oh. Let me take a closer look. <gasps> Careful, Glug. Oh. 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 Where's Glug? Oh. He's completely disappeared. Oh, I can't see him anywhere. Oh, I can hear a groaning. Oh. Listen. Oh. Yes, but where is he? Who's that? I'm a Spider-Man. I live here. It's my pad. Who are you? I'm just an ordinary plug from the sink. Oh, no sweat, man. But uh, you need to be out of here before the washing starts. <laughs> We've lost Glug forever and it's all my fault. <laughs> Nonsense. He can't be very far away. I'm under here. What's that, Scrub? Scrub, Scrub. Need rope. I'm here. Can you see him, Scrub? Tell us where he is. Here he is. Oh, Scrub, thank goodness it's you. Hey! 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 Oh, you saved him! That was scary. Thank you, everybody. I could have been there for hours. Scrub. Uh, whose eyes were they? The spiders. Where, pray, is the green one gone? Boo! Oh, jelly. <laughs> it's time to go. Look, it's getting light. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories are fun. Bye, story makers. See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>